So we have some jaw-dropping new research on climate change, and yet again, the findings are insanely bleak. The last time carbon dioxide levels were this high, Greenland was mostly green, it's now all ice, sea levels were up to 20 meters higher, and trees grew on Antarctica, according to scientists who warned this week that there is more CO2 in the atmosphere today than in the past 3 million years. 3 million years. 3 million years. Using a new computer simulation, researchers at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany found that the last time the Earth's atmosphere had a CO2 concentration as high as today's was during the Pliocene epoch, epoch, the geological period 2.6 to 5.3 million years ago. CO2 emissions from human activities are the leading cause of climate change. CO2 levels should not be higher than 280 parts per million without human activity, but they are currently 410 parts per million and rising. Holy shnikes. I mean, this... It, it, every time I read one of these articles, my only takeaway is like, okay, so it looks like we're past the point of no return. Is that where we're at? Am I am I interpreting this properly? Am I am I wrong in any way here, or is that really what's happening? Because that's what that's what it seems like. It seems like we're past the point of no return. So that's terrifying. That's terrifying to me. I mean, think about that. The last time carbon dioxide levels were this high, sea levels were twenty meters higher. Twenty meters. We need we need to act on this stuff yesterday. I mean, I don't even... What can be done? I think that we need to totally move to renewable energy and technology, but even that is not going to solve the problem um, because a lot of the damage is already done and it's going to take longer for it to manifest. But we also... Like, scientists need to come up with a way to, like, vacuum the excess CO2 out of the atmosphere. <laughs> like, we were making fun of that article the other day about um, when scientists were like, hey, maybe we should, like, find a way to get the vol volcanic ash in the atmosphere to block out the sun, because that might be our only hope. And everybody was making fun of that, and it's true, you should make fun of it, because that's ridiculous. Like, it's got, it has so many other downsides that we can't even probably fathom at the moment. We don't know about all the unintended consequences. But, like, yeah, we're at that level now, where it's like, okay, we have to start thinking really outside of the box and coming up with ideas that maybe could you know, be radical, but actually work and help. Because right now we are, it's it's kind of amazing that you have politicians who read this. Well, they won't read it, first of all. But second of all, if they did, they'd be like, fake news, you know. Climate's always changing, bro. Weather's always changing. You know, it goes up and down. It cycles. It goes in cycles. Yeah, it goes in cycles. That's right. It goes in cycles and, um, you know, us pumping fossil fuels into the atmosphere since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, that's had no impact. Well, they literally tell you, if we weren't here, we'd be 280 parts per million right now. Uh, but since humans are here and we're pumping fossil fuels out there all the time, we're 410 parts per million. So that's human-induced climate change. And the downsides of that, listen, the downsides of that are not just like sea level rise. I've spoken about this before. But the downsides of that include like famine and drought and wars over water. Do you understand that? Like, that's the stuff that really should scare the shit out of everybody. Having a massive refugee crises because the Middle East has to empty because it's too hot for humans to live there, which is going to happen at some point. So I, I don't even know what to say. This isn't my area of specialty, climate change. But what I do know is it doesn't take somebody who's has this as a specialty to go, oh, we're fucked and we need to act immediately. And even with that, batten down the hatches, bitch, because it's going to get ugly. So that's the reality of the situation. And unfortunately, at least half of the people in control in this country don't give a fuck or don't believe it. And they're also paid by ExxonMobil, probably in part to make them not believe it. So the status quo is quite literally deadly.